Hi there, and thank you for tuning in. In the last video I did, shot down at the local lake here, just a few hundred meters away from me, I got a lot of questions related to the location and where is it at and can you get to it and uh, do you have many places like that in Denmark and you know in the, of that nature so I thought it would be fun to it centered around photography because this is still a photography channel but to, to show you a little bit about Denmark and I want to take you to uh, that place where I shot the other video on a map and tell you why it's positioned in Denmark and also I want to take you to the north coast of Sealand where it is that I live and show you uh, where my summer house is and the coastline along that that leads up to a house that uh, Knud Rasmussen has built and if you don't know who Knud Rasmussen is he was a explorer a north pole explorer I think you say in English and he is very famous, at least if you're interested in that kind of stuff, because he was one of the first to explore uh, that area of the world. So, without further ado, let's get right into it. We have the world. Over here you have obviously United States and Canada. And here in the middle you have Europe and uh, Africa down here. And little Denmark you have here in the middle. I'll just zoom in. Denmark is not the capital of Sweden. You have Sweden here. Denmark is a country of its own. And you have the capital of Denmark is Copenhagen that sits right there. And uh, we are pretty close to Germany. You can see down here you have Berlin. And uh, from where I live in Copenhagen to Berlin, it's a six or seven hours drive. So if you go by the ferry here that is necessary, you can get to Berlin uh, fairly quickly i think also now you can go by train so that is all nice we have scandinavia there's lots of culture language history shared between uh, these countries here uh, in scandinavia but today's focus is denmark and little denmark consists of jotland here to the west to the west you have Fyn here in the middle and then you have sealand where i live uh, to the right and then you have a lot of bridges in Denmark we normally debate for ages whether a bridge should be built and then we build it and then uh, afterwards we never discuss it again and you're just happy that there are bridges so we have bridges from Copenhagen to Malmö in Sweden we have bridges connecting Fyn uh, here in the middle to uh, Jotland here to the right we have bridges to Falster and Lolland, as you can see the islands down here. And then we are in the process together with Germans to build a bridge between Rødby and Fehmarn. So you can actually drive directly from Denmark to Germany from, from the Copenhagen side, so to speak. A lot of people go to Germany uh, via Jutland. Flensborg is a big connection point here. And there's a lot of, of trade happening because taxes are lower in Germany. So a lot of Danes go to Germany to buy cheap beer and carbonated soft drinks and, and so on. So that's great fun. The footage you saw the other day is recorded in something called Lyngby, which is where I live. Actually, it's called Sovnfri. It's a little bit north of Lyngby. But you can see here you have lakes and I live right there. You can see that blue thing. And I have lakes around me. As you can see, I have uh, Fursøen, where I've actually learned how to sail. Then I have uh, Bagsværsø, Bagsvær Lake and Lyngby Lake. So you can see there's a lot of water surrounding me. And in general, I would say Denmark, if you look at it, of course, there's a lot of water surrounding us. And there's six or 7,000 kilometers of coastline. And we're 6 million people. And I think if you try to get as far away from the water as you can, it's only one or two hours drive away. So a lot of us live, uh, you can also see where the big cities are, Aalborg, uh, Aarhus, Copenhagen, obviously, Odense. Very, very close to water as well. So. A lot of us uh, live very close to water, and I think that's the explanation also why, especially at the Olympics, why we're doing so well uh, when it comes to sales sport. But the footage I showed the other day was shot right here. I'll get closer to that. Uh, when I biked, I showed you actually I was turning this corner here in the video, and then I came down here, and then I shot the f some of the footage here. This is where the sun rises here to the right, and you have... Uh, this was the first location. The second location was over here, or here I believe it was, when I went into the into the woods and uh, shot the pictures with the sun coming through the trees. I thought it would be... Oh yeah, I just have to mention, open in here in Copenhagen, if you see that series called La Casa de Papel, I'm sorry if my Spanish is not that well, but if you do see that one, parts of it is shot in something called Nyhavn, 
which is this area here. It's a very, very nice little area. If you ever come to Copenhagen, go visit Nyhavn. I mean, everybody does. So there's probably, you know, stuff with people. But in Casa de Babel, I believe they have over here, have shot from a restaurant some of the the third, I believe it is, the third season. And it's it's great fun if you know that, or if you ever come to visit Copenhagen, you will know that, that uh, it was shot, I believe, at a restaurant over here. But today I wanted to show you some footage that I have shot where my summer house is, and that is up here. Oh, sorry about that. Hope you didn't get seasick from that or that panning. But my summer house is right where that little star is. And uh, that is, that's, this is obviously coastline. And this is, uh, I dare to say, real sea, uh, meaning that it's connected to to you know the North Sea and and hence we're talking real ocean we're not talking a lake or anything it's it's the real deal salt water and whatnot and I want to show you this unfortunately the day I shot this uh, I wasn't aware of this the GoPro uh, picks up wind very easily and it was windy that day so I will have to voice over otherwise you will go completely nuts listening to the wind there are a few pieces of it I can I can uh, use as is but otherwise i've had to voice over it so sorry for that but i think you will enjoy the footage and let me just say here the north coast here is a wonderful place if you have lots of money then you buy houses over here summer houses over here but the poor of us and that's me we have summer houses over here close to hunested which is a, actually a, a harbor with you know, there's a, some industry going on and there's also, yeah, a lot of things going on in, 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 in that city. Uh, but in general, it's it's not a very wealthy area relative to the North Coast. In, in general, Denmark is doing pretty well when it comes to, to welfare. But, but there, of course, there are internal differences and this is definitely not a, a rich area. And I want to take you on a walk from my summer house leading along the the shore here and up to the house of Knud Rasmussen and I hope will, you will enjoy that. If you have any questions or you want to know more please let me know but I have a feeling that that uh, many of you actually enjoy uh, getting some some what should I say some descriptions or some words put to where this is shot rather than just uh, seeing the images. Nothing beats the sound of the ocean if you ask me. I'm glad I'm not out there in that boat. It's going up and down a lot. See that seagull? If I walk closer, I bet it will take off. Yep. It's as if there is a safety distance. And as soon as we pass that one, then uh, see also there the birds. Then uh, they take off. Look at this wood. It is old and it has taken a lot of beating from the ocean. And the structures are absolutely beautiful. That, in combination with the sunlight from the left, gives both beautiful shadows of some great structures in the wood. Also here you can see there's salt water, frozen salt water on the rocks. And that is really seldom to see that. You see that? That's actually ice. Makes the water sound funny. You hear that? It changes as the wave rolls in. It's water now, and now it's ice. Before we walk towards Knud Rasmussen's house, I wanted to show you some images that I have shot on this beach. And mind you that I have ten thousands of images that did not work when you see these images, but I have really enjoyed shooting at this location and uh, I think at every coastline you can get some amazing shots if you take the time and invest the hours. I moved away from the ocean a little bit. It's right down there. I hope you can hear that. Uh, the ocean is brutal when it comes to your camera gear. You need to make sure you have weather sealed gear or you protect your gear somehow because salt water this bath, it eats the inside of your electronics or the electronics in your camera. Let me just see if we can walk up here. 
Water, of course, is bad, but salt water, that's really bad. So here I adjust the voiceover again because the wind got really, really bad. But I hope you can see how beautiful the ocean is and uh, enjoy the view here. Here I'm walking upwards and Denmark is a super flat country otherwise, but here there is a little bit of height. And uh, as you can see, when I walk to the edge here, there is actually some, some way down. Uh, but Denmark is in general a very, very flat country. And I think it's only Holland that is more flat than, than Denmark. And you can see that uh, there I pointed to the ice again. It was quite fascinating and a seldom sight. Here I have walked a bit further. And there's even further down to uh, the beach, as you can see. We're heading in that direction, that is where the house of Knud Rasmussen is. And there is also a little but very beautiful lighthouse. Here you see the lighthouse. I still have the ambition to come here one day and capture a great image of that lighthouse. I think I can do it better than what I've been doing so far. But uh, yeah, that's a good thing about having a place you can revisit, that you can maintain an ambition like that. And here you see the lighthouse again, and here I'm a bit higher up, and uh, finally I have arrived to the house of Knud Rasmussen. I think you can understand why he put it here when I turn the camera here. You can see there's a tree or a bush there, but when I turn the camera, you will see there's an absolutely beautiful view over the ocean. I think that... A little bit later, there is a second view there. You have his, have his house again. And as I turn the camera, look at that view. Imagine having that from your living room, right? That's not so bad. And here you can see the person sitting on the bench gives proportions to the, to the view here. Yep, that was the house of uh, Knud Rasmussen. I'm heading back here. But I also wanted to show you some images that I have shot at that location. And uh, again, mind you that <laughs> I have 10,000 of images that did not work sitting on my hard drive just to produce these that I show you here. Yes, that's it from me. Thank you for watching. As always, take care. Keep shooting. Bye bye.